Welcome to the build of Miniart Panzer 3D. The kit features 1146 part, 71 of which are photo etched, 11 are clear, and total of 1064 plastic parts made from the new material that Miniart are using from the late summer 2015 on. The kit itself is a bit of a complex assembly. It's not suitable for beginner modelers. However, for experienced ones, it features pretty much all that you might want to get from a plastic kit out of the box. It has the red interior, wonderful suspension, movable parts, tracks which are length and movable, attachable via pins which do not need to be glued. Pretty much all the doors are made openable, hinges are wonderfully represented. It's an excellent kit. The armament is casted very nicely, it has holes and it doesn't require additional interventions to make it more realistic. The fenders have enough photo etch and options to make front and rear parts of them positionable. Interior of the turret is highly detailed, it requires a lot of attention. Pretty much not a problem there except for some ejector pins. The guns are positionable and they are moving freely even though it is crowded inside of the cupola. The only big letdown of the kit is the cracking plastic of the transparent material which is not a big problem because the periscopes are otherwise hidden so this is not something that I can complain about. The whole build takes a lot longer than the usual kit compared to the Mio for example but it's worth it because you have everything inside of one box without the need of buying additional stuff and spending more money on having a perfect kit in the end. Thanks to Miniart for the sample and if you want to buy one you can find the link in the description down below featuring this kit and the other options for the Panzer III pre-production vehicles that Miniart already put out there in the market. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for the full build video and see you in the next one.